Hello friend, we're glad you've chosen to join us today for GCK Daily. You know, we exist to help to lead people to an encounter with Christ. Now may this song prepare your heart as we ready our minds for today's timeless truth. You thought I was worth saving So you came and changed my life You thought I was worth So you clean me up inside You thought I was to die for So you sacrificed your life So I could be free So I could be whole So I could tell everyone I'm We're home. talking about the turnarounds and how this experience affected your life today. You know, Nick, at the height of the pandemic, I'm sure it was a very trying, scary, and even fearful time for people. And unfortunately, myself and my, my family didn't really escape that. And we had just had a little baby and we're just worried about what comes next and health-wise and things like that. But I remember the scripture in uh, 1 Samuel chapter 30 that talked about when David was going through his turmoil, how David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And holding on to that, definitely help myself and my family get through that difficult time. Well, thanks for uh, for sharing that experience. The Bible has and is changing me as I ask the Holy Spirit to show how I need to change. As we join Dr. Kumi today, we're studying about the impact that will occur when we make the Bible our final authority for all of our beliefs and all our truth. The Lord died and the Lord was buried and he rose again for one thing, for our redemption. The death and the resurrection for our costly redemption. First Corinthians chapter 15. And I'm reading from verse 3. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received. Look up here. I delivered what I received. If you never receive anything, you have nothing to deliver. If you have not received, you have nothing to deliver. The society is waiting for you to deliver to deliver life, deliver abundant life, deliver joy, deliver happiness, and deliver the hope for living. But you must receive first the gospel, the glad news, the redemption can only be given by the people who have received the knowledge of salvation, can only be given by those who have received. And the knowledge of upright living, righteous living, holy living, can only be delivered to other people by those who have received. Show me a man, show me a woman who is gloomy and sad and despondent. And then he goes to a congregation, he goes to society, he says, I want to deliver some joy to you. They say, no, you, don't. you can't do that. You have to receive the joy before you can deliver the joy. I want to show you the way of victory. No, you cannot. You have to receive the victory before you can deliver the victory. And the reason why the Lord has redeemed us is so that we'll receive any receiver there today? Praise the Lord. The Lord will fill your basket to overflowing. You receive salvation. You receive redemption. You receive revelation before you can deliver whatever it is you want to deliver. And it says, for I delivered unto you. First of all, that which I also received. How? That Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. That's redemption. 
Christ died for our sins according to the scripture. Saul did not know that before. Paul did not know that before. Actually, he thought it was blasphemy for somebody to say Christ died for you, to be your substitute, to be the final sacrifice, and to be your savior. But his life turned around. I'm happy for you. Yeah. Your life will turn around. Yeah. You don't have to know and study Genesis to Revelation before your life turns around. Just know that Christ died for your sins. And then you put all your sins on Christ. And now you are free. Yeah. Somebody there. I said now you're free. Yeah. And because of that, the death of Christ and his resurrection. New life comes to you. Power comes to you. Authority, anointing comes to you. And your life will never be the same again. Yeah. How that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Look at verse 4. In verse 4, and that he was buried. And that he rose again the third day according to the scripture did you see that according to the scriptures verse 3 according to the scriptures verse 4 salvation according to the scriptures sanctification according to the scriptures baptism in the holy ghost according to the scriptures healing according to the scriptures redemption according to the scriptures dream According to scriptures, you cannot hold on to a dream and abandon the scriptures. Vision, according to the scriptures, you cannot hold vision and then abandon the scripture. Everything you do as a disciple, as a learner, everything you've got as a disciple, as a learner, everything you experience as a disciple, as a learner, according to the scriptures and the Lord fulfill this ultimate and this full redemption in every one of our lives in Jesus name yeah. okay now in your life yeah. in your family yeah. in your ministry yeah. the Lord fulfill his will in your life completely in Jesus name yeah. whosoever or call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Once you realize I cannot save myself, my good works are not good enough, my kindness not kind enough, my righteousness not righteous enough, only Christ, because he died on the cross of Calvary, can save me. You come with that understanding, salvation will come. Father, we well, thank you for making your word clear to everyone that it's not the works of our hand, it's not our merit, it is not any good thing we have done, but it is what Christ did on the cross of Calvary, that he bore our sins and has taken all our sins away. Lord, I pray for everyone putting their trust and their faith in Christ tonight. Save them, forgive them, set them free from their sins in Jesus' name. From now on, what they couldn't achieve and do by themselves, I pray that your grace will come into every life. That they'll go from here and live in the grace of God, in the righteousness from heaven, in Jesus' name. Lord, grant everyone assurance of their forgiveness, assurance of their salvation, new strength, new power, new life, new nature. Grant you everyone to go and sin no more in Jesus' name. Write their names 
in the book of life in heaven thank you lord because i know you have answered in jesus name we pray your time has come you raise up your hand for your miracle touch the place where you have the challenge and then after the final amen you'll open your eyes and check up you'll find god has made all things possible in your life raise up that hand expect the miracle put your attention on god with god all things are possible father we come to you tonight with implicit faith unshakable faith unwavering faith knowing that with you all things are possible we come for those possibilities of unshakable faith tonight and we're asking oh lord perform your miracle in every life yeah. heal the sick yeah. deliver the oppressed yeah. break every yoke yeah. destroy the works of the devil yeah. lord i pray that what men could not do and what men cannot do that at this very moment now over here on these grounds over the radio over the television and in every locality everywhere all over the world what men could not have done do it now in jesus name let the incurable be cured right now issue of blood dry up in jesus name cancer be healed in jesus name tuberculosis you are healed in jesus name every yoke every affliction be taken away from your life and from your body at this moment in jesus name healing everywhere now deliverance everywhere now miracle everywhere now lord confirm it in everyone testimony in every mouth in jesus name we pray So here are three things that we can take away from today's study. Number one, the Bible should be our guide for life. Number two, the world is waiting for you to share the gospel. And thirdly, the joy of knowing Christ is not just internal, but is also external. People will know we are different by our love. As we conclude today, we would love to get to know you personally at dclm.org connect or through our Facebook page or YouTube channels. If you would like what you've heard today, please share this video and spread the word around about the freedom that you can experience with others. God bless you as you do so.